Greetings, mere mortals! We're ending Monster Month with a subject that is near and dear to my heart! Skeletons! They are all around us, and everybody owns at least one! Hell, you could almost say there's a little skeleton inside all of us! And yet, they are severely underrepresented in the G.I. Joe toy line! If you don't count Bludgeon, there's only ever been one, namely Montezuma Skeleton, as part of a 2008 DVD box set that had the Arise Serpentor Arise miniseries, and that's all! Which is kind of weird, because there have been plenty of skeletons in the fiction! One even got up close and personal with Cobra Commander! And we will be waiting! No! This does mean that if you want to add some calcium to your G.I. Joe collection, you have to look to other toy lines. And one of the most appropriate ones is the 2005 Army of Darkness line made by Palisades Toys. Palisades? Palisades? I have no idea how you're supposed to pronounce it! Sadly, this would be one of the last line of toys offered by the company, as Palisades went bankrupt just one year later, in 2006. There were a variety of reasons for this, which we're not going to get into here, as it's too long and complex a story to tell as a simple aside in this video. I don't know, go ask Toy Galaxy or somebody to do an episode on it. They did end on a high note, though. With this series of Army of Darkness figures based on the movie, the third in the Evil Dead series, and my personal favorite. The figures we're particularly looking at today are the Deadite Pikeman and Deadite Centurion. Deadite is what they called the undead in those movies. The detailing on these guys is incredible! There's a good reason for that! As Palisades wasn't a company that made toys for kids, but rather for adult collectors. On the one hand, this is good, since you get very detailed sculpting collectors love. But on the other hand, it means they don't have sturdy construction for rugged play, so they tend to be quite fragile. Yeah, handle with care. Then again, you should always handle your skeleton with care. The fragility isn't helped by the fact their limbs are very thin. That's because of necessity, obviously. I mean, they're bare bones. Can't have beefy limbs if you don't have any beef. That's also why they have small feet, making it difficult for them to stand up on their own, so you need figure stands. Fortunately, these toys did come with those. All this means that, although these guys have articulation, and plenty of it in fact, due to the fragility, you're better off handling them as small statues. But what statues? The bone-chilling bone detailing, the intricate skull designs, the nicely decaying uniforms, it all makes for a very nice package. As far as compatibility with G.I. Joe goes, well, it certainly would be fun to set up an undead skeleton army against the Joes. Cobra, of course, would be the ones to summon or raise them, but with Cobra Commander being a dumbass, they wouldn't be able to control them, so Joe and Cobra would have to team up to stand a chance at survival. When it comes to their character, um, they really don't have all that much. They were deadite foot soldiers who were destroyed in humorous ways, and maybe a couple had a good one-liner. The only thing I can say is they're not zombies. They don't try to infect people, and are quite smart. Well, smart enough to use weapons anyway. And that were two of the Palisades Army of Darkness Deadites. Some pretty cool figures, especially for this time of year. Huh, that was pretty short, so to end Monster Month, why don't I throw in a little bonus? 
a review of a figure of me? Well, as close as we're gonna get, anyway. Meet the Jazzwares Fortnite Solo Mode Skull Trooper. Man, that's quite a mouthful for a guy in a cheap Halloween costume. I was referring to the figure. It's me! I was released in 2018 with body parts, I guess. Who cares? It's me! Okay, so it's more based on the Grim Reaper. He even comes with a sight. But close enough, dammit! Anyway, like all figures from this line, there's excellent articulation. Though, due to the feet being on a ball joint, it can be hard to get them to stand properly. They also all have nice detailing, though that's less apparent on this one, since there's only so much you can do with a guy in a skeleton costume. That also means you wouldn't fit in really well with G.I. Joe, unless the Joes were having a Halloween costume party or something. Other figures work perfectly fine! Like a guy called Frostbite, who makes a pretty cool snow serpent, or Havoc, who's just straight up Firefly. You'd think Hasbro would sue, sue, and sue some more over these things, but no! They even gave Jazzwares the license to produce some G.I. Joe Merc. Meanwhile, if this show uses more than seven consecutive seconds of the G.I. Joe cartoon, we get a copyright claim. No, no, I'm fine. I'm not bitter at all. Thank you. As far as the character goes, there isn't one. Near as I can tell, this is just an outfit you can buy in the game. I know next to nothing about Fortnite, and I don't want to. All that matters to me is their school action figures. If you want to know more, I don't know, go to your local playground and ask some kids. Make sure to bring some candy to give them, then you'll get an explanation nearly as long as the one you'll have to give to the members of your local law enforcement community. And that was the Skull Trooper. Hope he never runs into Skull Buster. A pretty great figure for me personally, but pretty cool overall. And that wraps up Monster Month for this year. What will happen next year? Who knows? But I bet that whatever we come up with will be awesomely gruesome. Until next time, mere mortals. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye.